what's going on everyone welcome to my channel in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Shea Moisture this is the let's see coconut custard make it last wash and go I have the shampoo here I have the conditioner the gel oil as well as the revival oil as well so I believe this product line has five I have four out of five and you know four out of five ain't bad okay Starting off with the shampoo, you get 13 fluid ounces of product in this bottle, which I think is a pretty good amount. This will cleanse and detangle your hair and it's for kinky, curly, coily hair. It is sulfate free and color safe. Now, when using this product, I feel like the shampoo is very, very thick. And because it's so thick, I was really surprised that I had to use quite a bit of product to get a really good lather going and that's both showing you on film and washing my hair in my shower okay even with the water running down my my hair and my back I feel like I should have gotten a little bit more of a lather than what I was getting and that's just a preference because I am that person who likes to see the lather the lather makes me feel like the shampoo is doing its job. Some people would prefer less lather or even a no poo shampoo, but it actually had me looking at the bottle to read like, is this a no poo shampoo? Because I had to use quite a bit of shampoo to get the lather that I like. I do feel like this shampoo kind of made my hair feel a little stringy. Um, this says that it is a cleansing and detangling shampoo. I don't get the detangling part. Um, no, this wasn't, this isn't really a moisturizing shampoo. I think that they kind of missed the mark on this one, especially because they made a really great shampoo before in the coconut hibiscus shampoo. So this shampoo right here definitely isn't touching the coconut hibiscus shampoo at all. But you know, it's in my assessment, it's not a horrible shampoo. I just wish that it was more of what the bottle has deemed it to be a cleansing detangler um i'm gonna say no it's not but that's just my opinion is it horrible no is it great no next i have the conditioner here now this is also a 13 fluid ounce bottle of product and let me tell you guys about this conditioner Okay, it, the bottle says that it's supposed to hydrate and soften your hair, which I definitely agree with. However, you have to get the product out of the bottle, you guys. Look at this. Look at this. You cannot, you cannot get the product out. There's no way. Somebody really missed the mark on the packaging here. I could have told you this, you guys. Bruh, listen. Who said to put this thick ass conditioner in this bottle right here? Oh, uh, look how it comes out. Okay, so yeah, they kind of missed the mark on this packaging here. I definitely think that this is a really great conditioner. It does hydrate and soften. It does what the bottle says it does. Is this like a traditional conditioner? To me, I feel like it's more of a deep conditioner. However, I, I really, I, I do, I like it. I wish that they would put this in better packaging. I wish they would have put it in this type of packaging here. They probably should have swapped both out for, you know, the, uh, the other. I will say that when I am trying to get this conditioner out of my hair, I have to use some extra time because there's just lumps and clumps all over the place but I actually really 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 enjoy this conditioner it is more of a detangler than the shampoo <laughs> would I buy this one again I absolutely would I would probably use this as a deep conditioner versus a conditioner but I really really love this stuff this had my hair feeling very very soft and hydrated and the, the, all of the stringiness that I got from the shampoo just dissolved and went away when I put this in my hair. So other than the packaging, I'm going to give this conditioner a thumbs up. I, I'm definitely going to buy this again. Now we're going to talk about the defining gel oil. Okay, and I think that this is the reason why my hair looks so 
fabulous right now okay and I have seen reviews out there and there's a lot of mixed reviews and for me I'm gonna say that this defining gel oil is another thumbs up because my hair does not generally respond to products with this consistency okay uh, I will say that the packaging for this again is all wrong it should have been in this bottle right here but look at this consistency y'all my hair does not really respond to things like this my hair loves creams okay this is more of a liquidy uh, product that normally my hair would be like hell no this is not for me boo but look at my hair my curls really are defined there isn't a lot of frizz and the frizz that that's there now is because i actually washed condition and put this defining gel oil in my hair last night let my hair air dry put my hair up in a pineapple and just woke up and styled my hair using the revival oil yesterday before I went to sleep my hair was not frizzy at all okay and this is all I use to style my hair the defining gel oil that's it normally I have to use three different products to get my hair to look how I want it today just using this defining gel oil my hair looks fabulous look at my curls y'all they are extremely defined my hair looks shiny and there is no crunch now last night I will say this last night I did feel like I got a little bit of a crunch and the way that it was setting kind of reminded me of when you go to a hairdresser and they put that uh, what's it called a setting gel that's what it, that's what it reminded me at first and I was like oh my hair is not I'm not gonna like this I'm really not but when I went to sleep and I woke up this morning the crunchiness or the setting type of product feel was not there now yes my hair generally does better the second day if I were to uh, put this in my hair on the first day and go out into the public I don't feel like I would really like the product as much so that's a disclaimer there some of you might understand what I'm saying some of you might not understand what I'm saying but you second day hair girls y'all know y'all get me as far as second day hair third day hair I think I'm going to go ahead and give this a thumbs up again Walking out of the house on one day hair with this in my hair, I don't think I would feel the same way. So that's just my disclaimer with that. The last product I'm going to be reviewing in this line is the Revival Oil here. And, you know, I used this this morning to revive my, my curls because I actually needed to last night in my pineapple. I don't know why I even do the pineapple because it never, my hair never comes out like it's supposed to. I always end up smushing my curls. You know what I mean? I mean, did it help my curls? Yes, it did. I feel like it's kind of the same as any other reviving oil. It kind of just reminds me of my OGX coconut oil. I mean... If I didn't have any more oil at the house, would I pick this up? Mm -hmm. It depends. If I find something cheaper, I would pick up the cheaper oil. You know what I mean? This is not like really a, a necessity type of um, product it's for me anyway. I mean, it's okay. You know, if you don't have anything else and that's all they have at the store, then hey, yeah, pick it up. It's, it's, it's just okay. That's, that's really all I got to say about that. Alright you guys, so that was my review of the Shea Moisture Coconut Custard Make It Last Wash and Go product line. There was definitely some things that I really liked about this, this line and some things that I didn't. Some products I will leave at the store and some products I won't. I will definitely pick them up again. You know, if you've used this product line before, let me know how you feel about these products in the comment section below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye you guys.